So, setting up a test tube to keep ants is one of the most crucial parts of ant keeping. Now, this process is extremely difficult. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to find the meaning of life, right? Square that, then multiply it by the cosine of 26. After doing, if you can't tell, I'm joking. It's very straightforward. Today I'll be explaining how to make a simple test tube setup. Now, you're gonna need a test tube, some cotton, and a water source. Ooh, I just, I just wasted water. That's, that's bad. Anyways, let's get started with this small guide. Now, first of all, you need to fill the test tube about one third of the way with water. Alright, now that you've done that, you gotta take some cotton, and if you have small cotton pieces, then make sure that like, you rip them, rip them, you know, squish them, make them into one larger piece. Now, once you uh, stick it in, <laughs> stick it in, that sounds wrong. Okay, I'm gonna stop being immature here and be serious for a sec. You need it, you, you should use a stick, something like a barbecue skewer, to push it in, and then make sure you do it really fast so that there's no air bubbles. Alright, now you want to keep pushing until you see that the water has reached, you know, the edge of the cotton. You want the tip, like the part that's exposed to air, to be wet, like this. Alright, and that's pretty much it. As you can see, I screwed up because I was making this video and there is an air bubble in this one. But, if you do it well, there shouldn't be an air bubble because there's more water trapped inside. And just this water with the cotton will last you more than a month, like a month and a half, maybe even two months. Now, if you put your queen inside, and then you plug off this end, don't worry, she can still breathe, because there's plenty of holes in the cotton. A test tube of this size will house, you know, small ants, like Myrmica, Laceus, etc. F until they have around 100 workers, and if you have medium ants, like Formica, then it'll house them until they have maybe 70, 50 workers. And if you have, you know, really big ants, like Campnotis, and some like carpenter ants, then it'll only house them until they have maybe 20 workers. But don't worry if it's really crowded, because in nature, ants actually live in chambers that are very small and very crowded. So, you know, it's actually like, they feel less stressed if their test tube is very crowded, so it feels more like a small chamber. All right, to move your ants into whatever form formicarium you have for them, well, a good way is to make sure that the test tube is dried out and that the formicarium is constantly exposed to moisture and also to make sure that, you know, there's a lot of direct light and heat and on the test tube, so it dries out quicker. Once the test tube is completely dry, uh, in my past experience, the ants will definitely move into the formicarium. Now, a problem that many beginners have is that they can't, you know, find test tubes. And glass test tubes are, to, to be honest, pretty hard to find. You can buy test tubes online in bulk. But if you only need like one or two for a few small colonies, that seems to be really dumb, you know, to pay shipping for a huge amount of test tubes when you really only need one or two. So what you can do is you can actually ask your local science teacher at your school or at like university or actually like a lot of school supply stores for like science kits. Inside the science kit will be like one or two test tubes and you can use those for your ants. Okay, thanks for watching and hopefully this video will help you start your very own ant colony. And I am making an how to start your own ant colony guide later this week, so stay tuned for that. And as always, I hope you subscribe, because um, subscribing to me will, uh, will, will give you free money from the sky. Yeah, so subscribe, please. Bye. Disclaimer, subscribing to me will not actually give you money from the sky. If you fell for that, please talk to a family member who can help you understand the concept of lying. Or maybe you can watch the movie The Invention of Lying by Ricky Gervais and Matthew Robinson.